Hello everyone, my name is Ed Wagonseller and I'm so excited to be reading to you uh, a book tonight called Wolber by Leslie Helikoski, illustrated by Lee Harper and published by HarperCollinsChildren.com. This is Wolber, the story of a little sheep. Wolber had a little trouble with the herd today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I don't want to stand still with the sheep, said Wolber. I ran with the dogs instead. But those dogs are half wild, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? They'll run circles around you, said Ma. I know said Wolbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. See, there's Grandpa over here with the moon. And then Ma and Pa, they're pulling on their wool. Oh, they look nervous. Wilbur had a little trouble in the shearing barn today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I don't want to shear my wool, said Wilbur. Being woolly feels nice. But it's springtime, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Your wool is so long, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. See, and there's Wilbur running around, and he's playing, and it's springtime, and he doesn't want to get his wool sheared. Wilbur had a little trouble carting wool today, said Ma. What happened? Sa asked Pa. I carted my own wool, said Wilbur. No more tangles. <laughs> Look at Wilbur. Uh-oh, Paige. He carted his own wool. He looks like a big furball. But sheep don't card wool on their own body, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? You look so different, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa, well, you know what they did, pulled on their wool all night long. Good old Grandpa. Don't worry. I like Grandpa. He doesn't worry. Wilbur had a little trouble spinning today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. I rode around on the spinning wheel, said Wilbur. It was fun. But spinning's not supposed to be fun, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Your yarn is all loopy, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. Yeah, Grandpa, he doesn't worry. But Ma and Pa, they pulled on their wool all night long. There's Wilbur spinning around on the spinning yarn thingy. Wilbur had a little trouble dyeing wool today, said Ma. What happened? asked Pa. Well, instead of dyeing the yarn, I dyed myself, said Wilbur. I like experimenting. You look unbelievable, said Pa. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? It will never wash out, said Ma. I know, said Wilbur. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa, 
but Ma and Pa pulled on their wool all night long. Y'all ready to see a funny picture? Look at Wolber. He's blue. Wolber's blue. Oh boy, Wolber had a little trouble weaving today, said Ma. What happened, asked Pa. I put my head in the loom, said Wolber, to weave my forelock. But that's not what you were shown, said Pa. I know, said Wolber. Isn't it great? Look, there he is with the... It's unheard of, said Ma. I know, said Wolber. Isn't it great? Don't worry, said Grandpa. But Ma and Pa, what did they do? They pulled their wool all night long. Finally, Ma and Pa took Wilbur aside and said, you must follow the flock, dear. It's what we sheep do. From now on, you will stay with the herd like everyone else. You will shear your wool like everyone else. You will card wool like everyone else. You will spin wool like everyone else. You will dye wool like everyone else. And you will weave wool like everyone else. They're laying down the law with old Wilbur. I'll just lose that there. Okay, said Wilbur. Wilbur doesn't look too happy about that. Wilbur likes to do his own thing. He thought and thought all night long. And from then on, he taught everyone to run with the dogs, to let their wool grow, to card their own wool. Look at him. Wolver's teaching them to be like him. What else did he get him to do? To spin crazy yarn, to experiment with color, and to weave their forelocks. Look at him. Wolver is winning them over. Go, Wolver, go. Go, Wolver, go. Go, Wolver, go. Ma and Pa put their heads in their hooves and sighed. Wolver does not think like we do, said Ma. I know, said Pa. Now everyone looks like Wolver and acts like Wolver, said Ma. I know, said Pa. How will we ever find him? Look at all of the little sheep acting like Wolber. Don't worry, said Grandpa. And in the end, I guess it was Grandpa that was always right. This was Wolber. by Leslie Helikoski, illustrated by Lee Harper, and published by Harper Collins Children's Publishing. Thank you guys for allowing me to do this. Hope you all sleep tight. Don't forget to say your prayers, and let's look forward to a great tomorrow. Good night.